Hi guys, so it's me Nicolette and um, I want to tell you something that I've just gotten asked in my inbox. So I got a message from a lady in Memphis and she wanted to find out about stoozing and how it works and if it's a good idea. And I remember that I wanted to speak about stoozing some time ago in 2017, but I realized that in South Africa, it's not really a common practice, but it's something worth us looking into, right? So stoozing basically is taking advantage of, you know, a, a, a credit card company saying to you, we're willing to offer you a no interest credit card for a certain amount of time. So let's say they offer Offer to you at uh, three months you start off with a no interest credit card right you would then take the maximum limit that's given on your credit card and you will go and find yourself a high yielding account or fund or unit trust or whatever it is any account that is got a high interest rate and you would put that maximum amount into that account hoping that by the before the three months actually ends you've made a little bit of it of, of, of return on that amount and then you would go and settle the credit card and you would get to keep Keep the, the rest of the money now the problem with this thing is that in south africa we do not really have any interest-free credit cards and when you do actually get offered it it doesn't really always correlate and come with a very high limit so let's say for example in you get a, a, a credit card and it's a no interest credit card and your limit is a hundred thousand rand you would then take that hundred thousand rand and go out and look for a high yielding interest account right or high yielding return account let's say for instance and this is just for example reasons there is a fund with one of the financial institutions and it's a let's say it's, it gives you 12 percent or 13 or 15 percent right you would then take your money and you'd put it in that account and you're hoping that in three months that 15 percent would have kicked in which not usually because usually the amount that you get is usually an annual return but in any case you would have gotten some little bit of money and i'll give you an example if you were to put 500 thousand rand into one of the big four banks money market accounts you will probably make an interest of just maybe over 2500 to 3000 rand right because they've got very low um, um interest rates so that's literally what stoozing is now in south africa we also don't have a lot of um interest-free account interest-free credit cards what we do find is the 55 days interest-free account but there is danger in that and let me tell you what the danger of it is the danger of it is that when they calculate your interest in most of the banks you need to find out whether they're calculating it on or, or, or they they calculating the interest on a monthly basis or on a daily rotation because it differs in how they calculate your interest that's number one number two you need to understand what 55 days actually means so 55 days is not 55 days at the end of the month like let's say for instance you've used your credit card the whole month and they start calculating 55 days from the 30th no they start calculating 55 days from the minute you make a purchase so for instance if you make a purchase within the first 10 days of this 55 days, you will then mean, it will then mean that you've got 55 days from that specific day. So your start date of the 55 days is the first date in which you use the credit card, which means that you could make another purchase 20 days after, right? And still think that you've got 55 days. You do not have 55 days. You will still be calculated 55 days from the initial uh, purchase that you made. And the unfortunate thing that I realized with my credit card company, when I had a credit card, was that now when they calculate the interest, they don't calculate it on how much you paid or how much you bought on the first purchase. They calculate it on the entire balance of the credit card. So it's quite a dangerous thing to stews, especially if you're going to use the same credit card for other things. Rather, you take the entire amount out. But here's the other catchy part. The catchy part is that for you to be able to make big returns, you got to have big money, right? Especially if you want to make those returns in such a short period of time, right? Because as I already explained, just looking at the money market account that I've got, I mean, I get almost, I think, 6, 6.5, depending on the balance of the account, 6.5, 7%, 8% return, right? Now, the problem is that for me to actually have 8%, there needs to be a huge balance in that account. Now, how many credit card companies will actually give you a limit over even 150,000 rand? 
And what do you get from 150000 and on any of the interest accounts in this country? Absolutely peanuts. So again, stoozing might sound like a great idea, and it probably is if you have access to a zero-interest-free uh, zero um, uh, uh, card, credit card, but also at the same time, if you have access to a very high-yielding uh, uh, fund or in account, but also the third thing, I have a very high limit on your credit card. So you need those three things three things for Stoozing to actually work. You need a credit card company that's going to give you zero interest rates. Even the 55s could work, but at the same time, they need to pair it up with a very high limit. That's number two. And then number three, you need to find that high yielding interest account, which is very difficult in our economy. Everybody knows that. So that's basically what Stoozing is. Um, it, it's it's not it's not the easiest method. So it's something that I definitely don't think people should try at home. But I know that people do read up about these things, and it's something that is put out there. And if you want to try it, rather first and foremost get a better understanding of what it is before you actually try it at home.